I'm Alex Bell getting to the point. And when it comes to climate change, the choices people are making today can shape our tomorrow. And that's why one California company is now expanding, turning unwanted leftovers into fuel. Even the new NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors, are involved. The Ferry Building in San Francisco is home to some of the best food. But as you enjoy the food, drinks, and views, you may not be thinking about what's going on in the kitchen. Cooking oil, essential in restaurants' kitchens and used to fry these delicious fries. But the oil does more than just fill our bellies with greasy goodness. It's also being used to help our environment in a farm to fuel tank kind of way. It's just another beautiful day at the Ferry Building, and as they get ready to open, so are the businesses. General Manager Jane Connor says that popular spots such as Hog Island are trying to be sustainable and practice what the Ferry Building preaches. The building is about celebrating local flavors. It has such a history in farming and farming traditions in those local flavors. And I think the stewardship of realizing in order to perpetuate just the, the abundance of the Bay Area, you have to take care of it. And that's where Crimson Renewable Energy comes in. They collect used cooking oil from places like the Ferry Building and turn it into biodiesel, says Tyson Kiever, Crimson Chief Operating Officer. Biodiesel is pour and go technology. You can take a gallon straight from this plant and put it right in a diesel vehicle and drive away. So how does Crimson Renewable take this and turn it into this? Each restaurant is bringing their gallons of used cooking oil to a one place in our building, in our loading dock area, and they're putting the cooking oil there. So those six businesses every day are bringing in gallons and gallons. Yeah, it smells about as good as it looks. Drivers like Daryl collect oil in trucks like these, where it gets transported to their plant hours away in Bakersfield. We're here at our Bakersfield Crimson plant, where we take that cooking oil from restaurants and convert it to biodiesel, which is pour and go in any diesel engine today. So we make biodiesel, which you can use in your diesel truck or in your home he heating oil furnace or in heavy trucks going up and down the freeway. Harry Simpson is the CEO of Crimson. Our mantra is collect, refine, refuel. So we're collecting used cooking oil up and down California. He started Crimson almost 15 years ago. To do something that I believed in, to try to do something specifically in renewable energy. And now we are the largest producer of biodiesel in the state of California. They work with clients like Chase Arena, home to the Golden State Warriors, Sierra Nevada Brewing, Buffalo Wild Wings, Outback Steakhouse, and Chipotle in Sacramento. And the carbon reduction for what we do here uh, is in the realm of 85 to 90 percent lower than petroleum diesel. Simply put, it's cleaner tailpipe emissions. Harry says Crimson's production of biodiesel is like planting 8.2 million trees or taking 108,000 cars off the road. The other good thing about biodiesel is that it burns cleaner. Specifically, it reduces particulate matter emissions compared to petroleum diesel. So the particulate matter emissions, especially PM25 and PM10, that's what gives people respiratory illness. So I think the volume of fuel that we produce as a company results in the reduction of, for instance, asthma in terms of thousands of cases a year. It's no surprise throughout the entire state of California that air quality is talked about very frequently, especially in places like right here in Kern County, where residents consistently see hazy days like what's right behind me. So really keeping emissions down improves air quality throughout the entire state. Harry says the market in California for clean burning low carbon fuels has really stepped up over the last decade. Crimson even expanded their Bakersfield location. This latest addition right over my shoulder here is some new technology that can take more distressed feedstocks, recycled cooking oil or real challenged oil from grease traps and other waste streams and repurpose it to biodiesel. Crimson has two locations, Bakersfield and Oregon. Between both plants, they have the capacity to pump out about 50 million gallons of biodiesel a year. This plant is a state-of-the-art plant, the most current generation. Uh, there's, it utilizes a technology that's only been built at two other plants in Europe. This is the first of its kind in the United States. Now they have a secret sauce when it comes to turning that cooking oil into biodiesel. So they wouldn't share the exact ingredients, but for those of us who aren't chemical engineers, Tyson says this is how they break it down into a usable product. So you can make biodiesel from all sorts of fats, oils, and greases. Think of any 
canola oil you have on the shelf in your kitchen. That's the base feedstock we're using to make biodiesel. In order for it to be reactor ready, I'll call it, we want to remove impurities because we're using recycled streams from restaurants. So it'll have French fries in it. It'll have chicken wing batter and other sorts. So we're going to filter it and we're going to dewater it and get lots of the impurities out. Then we have reactor ready oil and that's what, similar to what you have in your, in your kitchen right now on the shelf for your canola cooking oil. So we're going to take that, put it in the reactor and we're going to add methanol and a catalyst to it and some heat, some agitation and it will separate. We're going to have biodiesel which is a methyl ester, about nine parts of will be methyl ester and one part will be glycerin. The biodiesel is then polished a little bit further and it's ready to go to market and be used in any diesel engine. By far, the biggest use of their biodiesel goes to truck stops. Those big semi trucks you see going up and down the road, you would be hard pressed today in California to go to uh, a truck stop and find a, a fuel, a diesel fuel that does not have 20% biodiesel. Almost all the truck stops now are running or selling a fuel uh, that goes into the semi trucks that has 20% biodiesel. The biodiesel that leaves here typically gets blended with petroleum diesel and consumed at a 20% biodiesel, 80% petroleum diesel blend rate. California's economy also benefiting from this fuel. The economic impact is something Crimson is proud to keep local. The economic model for what we do is quite different than what people may be used to with like a major oil refinery where they're bringing crude oil from all over the world. Uh, from the Middle East or Venezuela. Keeps dollars revolving in the local economy with jobs from people collecting the cooking oil, processing the cooking oil, bringing it to the biodiesel plant, and then converting from here and selling it and using it here. Harry's dreams are to continue to grow the company and improve the environment the renewable way. It's investing in potentially a solar farm, other things to improve the sustainability of, of this facility. There's a recognition that we've got to start transitioning. And I don't think there's any one single thing that is uh, going to be the magic silver bullet. It's facilities like this, bringing new clean burning, renewable liquid fuels. There's electric vehicles. It's converting the grid to solar and wind. We need advances in battery storage technology to make that viable. And for places like the Ferry Building, Jane says the choices they make today shape their tomorrow. Just reinforces what we're doing here in terms of the sustainability and working with local businesses. It's going to be the shoppers of tomorrow. It's going to be the chefs of tomorrow. They're going to benefit from the decisions and practices we're doing today.